Hey guys, my name is Mike Schwenkert. Um, I'm here with Card Overflow, and I just came to give you guys a deck profile. Uh, I topped the ARG in Hartford this past weekend uh, with Metal Foes. Figured we'd give you a quick deck profile, look into what I played. Um, no, I'm not going to give you a full tournament report. Uh, I have all my matches written down here, but I'll just link them all, or put them all in the description so you guys can see them. No point in wasting that much time. Uh, before I get into it, be sure to check out uh, Card Overflow, uh, our website. We deal specifically in foreign cards and do have some English cards as well. Just give the, give us a look. Uh, so let's get into the deck profile. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, so like I said, I played Metal Foes. Uh, lost round one and one out from there. I uh, played three Gold Driver, three Silvered, three Ball Flame, three Steelin, three Bisma Gear, so all 15 Metal Foes. <clears throat> Pretty standard, I think. Three raccoons and a Kieran, obviously. Three eccentric. Luster. Three Ariadnes. Uh, anybody who knows me knows that I like playing counter traps. So, figured out why not. Had good matchups against DDDs. So. Uh, two Maxi Rabbit. 29 monsters total. As I drop a Mexi. Uh, four spells, one of each fusion, two decision, and seven traps. One counter, one combo. Emptiness, because it's ridiculous. Uh, another four counter traps, three strikes, and a warning. 40 in the main deck. Uh, no Gofu. Didn't feel it actually helped anything. Um, and it, it freed up a lot of space my extra deck. Uh, so let's actually just go to that right now. Extra deck. Three Mithrilium. Uh, two Alkahest. I was borrowing one. Uh, second Alkahest only came up once. And it never actually hit the board. Uh, but it actually it did matter. Uh, one Ori Calc. Adamanti. I don't think I actually made him. Break Sword. Grand Pulse, Totem Bird, never made him. Uh, rank 4 is Dweller, Castell, and the Utopia package. Uh, Dweller actually came up in my Cosmo matchup, like round 6 or something. Because um, he was playing Cosmo Artifact, and it definitely helped stop artifacts. It's, it's that simple. Never made Castell. Uh, and same thing, Cosmos. Uh, 15th card was Ignister for Luster, obvious. Uh, and the side deck. Three Lava Golem. Um, it was pretty good. I sided it for Deities. Um, I probably would have against Paleos if I played them. And I sided it for Yang Zing Metal Foes, but in that matchup didn't actually help. I would still continue playing it for DDDs if they actually mattered after Zodiac. Uh, to DD Crow for DDDs and Paleos if I played them. This was pretty good. Tenkos for Paleos. Didn't actually play them, so never sided it. Two Cyclones for the Mirror Match and anything I needed spells and traps, uh, spell trap removal for. Uh, I do love this card. I'm going to continue playing it. Uh, system down. I played three ABCs in a row, so I'm glad I kept some side in for them. I think I only drew it once. I don't even think I activated it, but it, it made me feel safe. <laughs> I had my safe space. Uh, one Raigeki. I mean, I don't think I've ever not sided Raigeki. And three D Barrier. One of the best traps I think ever printed. Uh, anytime I activated it, I think I won, either the following turn or within a couple turns after that, but this card is ridiculous. Um, it's obviously going to go to the main deck when Zodiac comes out. Uh, but that's really it. So, that was a horrible fan. Uh, that's the side deck. Um, I'm probably going to stop playing Metal Foes once Zodiac comes out. I might test Metal Foe Zodiac, but I kind of doubt it. Zodiac is just that good. 
But uh, that's the deck. I top 16 They gave me the wrong mat. I should drew the short straw, I guess. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, be sure to check us out. Cardoverflow.com if you want some foreign cards. Thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully we got some more deck profiles coming to you. Take care.